Among the many bills kicking around the Capitol this week as a deadline approaches for committee action is one that seems to be sparking a big fight, or maybe it's a renewal of an old fight, over property taxes in California. Seemingly that was settled in 1978 when voters passed Proposition 13, the historic, uh, iconic t property tax limit that's still being debated in many circles. But that, that measure left intact another form of property tax called parcel taxes that supposedly would be, could be put on parcels of land and property evenly. In other words, $50 per parcel or $100 per parcel or something to support schools and sometimes local governments if voters agree. And a lot of parcel taxes have been enacted over the last uh, 30 odd years. But in, in some cases, some places, they've tried to do it a little bit differently. Rather than putting the same dollar amount on each parcel, some jurisdictions have asked voters to have differential rates, higher rates for some, or imposing taxes on a square foot basis, which makes them suspiciously like the old property taxes that were limited by Proposition 13. And that's why it's shaping up as a battle. That practice has been declared illegal by a court, but there's a bill kicking around the legislature, carried by uh, Senator Wolk from Davis, that would legalize the idea of having differential parcel tax rates. And that creates a situation of setting up the, the old war over property taxes seem to be renewed. The same forces that contended over property taxes 30 plus years ago in Proposition 13 are now gearing up to fight over defining parcel taxes and it looks like it, the, the people who want that are going to win initially. It may be left up to Jerry Brown, Governor Jerry Brown, to decide whether the property tax wars will be renewed. And remember, he was governor the first time around, so that what goes around comes around in the Capitol.